with the shore power lead, you lift the lid, you put the lid on, it's engaged into the socket, push your point in, and then that will lock into place. And to release it, push your trigger down and release your plug. Inside the gas locker, we have two gas bottles on an automatic switch over, so you haven't got to turn anything on or off. Is the emergency control valve so if you smell gas on board isolate it there give us a call and we'll be with you as soon as possible so once you're connected to your shore power flick the controller into the charger only position at the helm you get your two lights on to show you that you're charging and that you've got your mains power so that will heat hot water give you supply to your sockets and charge your batteries for you and when you disconnect turn it to the off position Disconnect your lead, and then if you still want power on board whilst you're disconnected from shore power, turn it to the on position and you will then get power to your sockets for mobile phone charging, microwave, TV use and your cooker ignition on this boat. By your cooker you have your hob gas tap and your cooker gas tap. When the knobs are in line with the pipe they're on and when they're off they're in horizontal position to the pipe. Turn them on. We have a little button igniter for the hob. Hold the button in for a second and then release. And for your grill and oven, you will need your inverter on because that's 240 volt ignition. Hold the knobs in until you get ignition and then release. Remember to leave the grill open door when grilling on this boat and turn your switches off once you're finished cooking. So the temperature controller for the fridge is on the top of the fridge at the front and the switch for the fridge is on the dashboard. So for the use of your television system, you'll need your inverter on to get power to the TV. Just pull your little switch out there for your satellite system. There is no aerial to adjust on this boat. You have two TVs, so the one at the back will portray the same picture as the TV in the forward end of the boat. They do have separate DVD players built into the side of them. So that's the satellite TV. To get onto DVD player, we've got a source button at the top left, uh, right hand side of the remote. Press that. Scroll down the menu to DVD and press OK. Put your DVD in the side to play. So we have gauges on this boat to show us how much water and fuel we have. Also how many toilet flushes we have left in our tanks. So when the water gets into the red we want to think about getting filled up. And when the tanks get into the red we want to think about getting a pump out. So at the helm here we have our switches and our control panel for our engine. So we have our fridge switch, water pump, port wiper and starboard wiper and our horn button. All right, so the startup procedure on this boat, we disengage the controller when it's in neutral, apply throttle, turn the ignition to heat for 10 to 12 seconds. Once she's running, you have the green light engaged at the top of the dashboard. And we've got four red lights. So we've got oil pressure, engine temperature, domestic batteries, and engine battery. To get any of the red lights on whilst traveling, we ask you to moor up, cut the boat out, and give us a call as soon as possible. And last but not least, stop your engine. Just press the stop button there. So when the boat's running, bring your throttle control back to neutral. You then have your First gear and your forward gear and you have use of your bow thruster. Bow thruster will only work when the engine is running because it works off the engine power. So you have your starboard thrust and your port thrust. So on the heater control here we have cold air circulation in the top left hand corner. 
and then we have our temperature range controls adjust them accordingly depending on what temperature you want and turn the heater on so leave it running for a minimum of 10 minutes just so it can go through its startup cycle and then any time after that you can then just turn it off so to be able to switch from lower helm to upper helm we need our controls to be in the neutral position simply direct the handle to whichever helm you want to use so that there is in lower helm and that there is in upper helm so in toilet cubicle here we have Jabsco twist and flush toilets so you flick it to the left hand side to pump the water in give it a couple of pumps just to fill the bowl with a little bit of water and you use the toilet once you've used it flick it to the out position on the right hand side pump the toilet waste away and then leave the handle locked and the toilet control in the right hand position so we also have our shower pump switch so depending on how long you're in the shower they last roughly two minutes you might need to press that a couple of times while showering 